right. Chapter three here. You can do this, has the whole world with him. You cannot walk. Walks a lonely way. So for this chapter, this chapter went in depth as far as being able to figure out what somebody's why is and be able to put yourself in their perspectives and from there essentially reverse engineering what's important to them rather than yourself and by doing so it allows you to connect with people on a totally different level because most of us and it's just human nature to too operate on a want 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 level and we literally are thinking about ourselves throughout the entire day for the most part and it's hard not to so this uh, chapter pulled uh, pulled several different letters written from businesses to customers and even in some instances a mother who wanted to move from New York to Phoenix, Arizona because of her son's bad health was looking for a job and just the word that you use and writing letters that describe how you can give value to somebody rather than talking about what you want in the letter itself or the message itself and so just a good reminder of all the interactions you have with people to go about it in a way that's being perceived based off of how can you deliver value to others rather than stating what you want out of the particular outcome of the relationship or the messenger, the communication. I'm just right now flipping through some pages because there's about four or five pages worth of different letters showing you different examples and examples of going off of wrong word usage or writing as far as not describing how value can be given to the person the letter's being intended for. There were some interesting examples as far as from a parenting standpoint and how to circumnavigate issues with the kids when it comes to one kid didn't want to go to his first day of kindergarten and the parents they embraced this as a challenge like you got it and it just forced you to be creative and so what they did the parents they uh the father and mother got together and they wrote out a list of all the things their son would be learning in kindergarten that'd be fun and so what they did i think they had multiple kids at the time so they got together with one of the other kids and they essentially played out all the things they'd be doing in kindergarten, or that kid would be doing in kindergarten. And he actually viewed it from the side while his father, mother, and I guess brother were having fun, like finger painting, playing with toys, things like that. And it just really got the kid to see what he would be having in kindergarten to go along with obviously meet friends and stuff go upon communication skills and all that. It's all really cool to read. I like this quote. Hardy in his approbation and lavish in his praise. Hardy in his approbation and lavish in his praise. It's kind of coming back to uh, another example of a father who wanted to see his son stop wetting the bed and so what they did is they got the son to go to a mattress store and obviously the mother went with him this kid I don't know how old it was in the story but they got this kid to go to a mattress store and basically they created a sense of pride for having his own bed because at the time he was just sleeping with his grandmother so pride of him having his own bed going to mattress store, buying his own bed, you know, his mom paid for it. And because of that, it instilled in him the willingness not to want to pee, and that's how they uh, got around that issue. And I think, um, again, it's just a great reminder tying things in here as far as surrender yourself. You surrender yourself to all the situations that come about. All the situations you experience are all good for you. They help you grow as a person. So this is like this father dealing with his son wetting the bed on a constant basis 
being creative with how you're going to solve it and instilling pride in the sun as a means to end him peeing in the bed. And then William Winter, no idea who that is, once remarked, and I highlighted this, quote, self-expression is the dominant necessity of human nature. And what's a great way to self-express? Dance, of course. <laughs> but self-expression is the dominant necessity of human nature. So principle three. Let's just go to the next one. Just click that page. One memento. There you go. Principle one, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Principle two, give honest and sincere appreciation and Principle three, arouse in the other person eager and want. Techniques in handling people, aka relationships, aka connecting with people, aka genuine rambunctious go-giver. <laughs>